and it starts recording and transcribing, which it is. Right, Rupert. So today we are looking at your site and I am going to go through it. We're talking about the grading criteria, so we're just going to have a look at the criteria. You can have a look at that while we're together and you can see uh, what you think. Obviously, you've done the before you've arrived here today, you've done the uh, survey so you can you sort of self-declared. Mm. And you think your context, you think is passable, but you're not so sure about your research. You said referral for that one. Yeah. Yeah. And then primary research, not yet, you said. Uh, oh, no, you said no, but then you said you've got photographs. So uh, which is it? I haven't got any yet. I was pl uh, I'm planning on doing it. I okay. just didn't really know what. Got you. So that's like, that. that's what that's going to be, is photographs. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have research in books and magazines? No. And you've got you've got a lot of references on your yeah. bibliography there. So that's always good. And you've said, uh, let me just read. So you research almost everything. I'm a bit behind with final projects from my unit five referral, blah, blah, blah. I'll try my best to get back. So the unit five set you back a bit doing yeah. the audio stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because I just, with that, I hadn't done, it, I was only missing the research and the evaluation, but I hadn't done any sort of research. I just created it. So I did struggle a bit on trying to, well, basically come up with research for something I'd already finished. Okay. So it did take me longer than it should have. <laughs> That's all right. So... But now your focus is yeah, purely on, yeah. on this. OK, All right. we'll do the whole due diligence. Just check everything. Else. So we've got your authentication form here. And you said that your work's your own. You said that. And you've got your project proposal form on here. And that's complete. Have we got on there the time management bit? Yeah, and that's all oh, of that's very, that's the best one yet. Lots of detail there. Do you use, what tool do you use to manage your time? Like, do you have, uh, a, do you have a process that works? Not per se. I've got the... Uh, spreadsheet that you sent out i've got my own version of that which i was just like filled it in basically the gantt chart yeah that, oh great yeah chart. yeah um is that evidenced on your site somewhere you uh think? not yet no because i oh i think it there might be a few images of it i was just having difficulty okay uploading, uploading. it i know i went eventually got through with the google docs thing oh you have yeah okay i was going to say that's the best way to embed it mm. from google docs but yeah Give me a shout like next time we're both back in the classroom and I'll show you it. All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I see your bibliography is looking like it's already like in a really healthy state. You've got lots of things referenced here, mm. which is good. Um, I have a lot of references. I just don't think I've got loads on the actual website per se because okay. I like normal. I've done the work. I'm just catching up on the blogging okay. and actually getting it on the website. So. Yeah, because you're someone who's normally very thorough. So we've Go on. Mm. What's all this blueprinting stuff? Yeah. That is all um, either screenshots of my own code, which I believe I will need for this, or could be useful for this project. Kind of because I haven't, I haven't done anything with Unreal uh, okay. for a long while, so yeah. I kind of need a reminder. So showing off of all the stuff I've done so far, okay, which isn't much to do with an asset pack, but all right, yeah, yeah, that's good. Um... Well, as always, it looks like, you know, nicely laid out. There's a, there's a lot already, already, but I know that like normally you're someone who has triple this amount like, yeah. at least. So I know that you'll probably be hard on yourself. In terms of what are these little indicators? That'll yeah, take you to the, the uh, menu, mainly cool. just to help me navigate around yeah, yeah. the place. That's good. I like it. Um, and this is the what will be the Gantt chart, right? I presume. Yes. Yeah. All you need to do is with that is to make it visible here is to set the permissions to be. There's a section on it saying yeah. uh, make it visible to anyone, on okay. the, and then that's why it's not showing up yeah. basically because it's it's currently only you that yeah. when you look at it you'll see it because you're on your Google yeah. you're signing in on Google. Um. So yeah, we've got we've got SWOT which looks thorough. Um, we've got um grading activity which you've reflected on, which is good. Yeah. I think the key thing is with this is like all the things is like what what's that doing you know what's that there for yeah. you know so like this is love this is kind of like nice i quite like it and it's a i mean there's a lot of stuff there but what i want to know is like what you're taking from it and like yeah why it's why it yeah. is there basically yeah and what's this video then uh me just uh unwrapping yeah trying to work out if i remember how to do stuff like that from um from the no man stuff or... yeah okay cool I think I did this in like the first or second week of this final project. Yeah. I just 
Oh, it's a little spaceship. So. Yeah, because yeah. Sam showed us in, I think it was like Blender or Maya, how yeah. you can make like low poly shapes with just one object. You don't need like 15 different yeah, like yeah. squares. Yeah, definitely. So I was kind of testing out how that works. And then I just thought at the same time, I would try and do it the same. see if I remember stuff off by heart or if I'm going to have to look up the stuff. Yeah, that's really good. I think, um, yeah, I think you're doing that's really good. I think like things like that are really nice. So it's just show like a little bit of process, mm. um, uh, which is good. So yeah, practical work. I think things like that could live um, on the practical skills bit. I get it early on because you were doing it as a process thing, but right. anything yeah. where you're making something like that, where yeah. it's like a test, and the same with the with the um, recapping of Unreal key bits of blueprint that you've ga gathered here. Yeah. Like they, I mean, I'd leave them there now, but that in future, like anything where you're making practical work, basically, mm. like that go on practical skills. Okay. Um, so you looked at Slime Rancher. What's that in relation to? How's that gonna? Um, well, with it being like my final project as um, and like sci-fi in uh, interior asset pack, I've kind of linked it to Slime Rancher with the kind of art style of Slime Rancher is somewhat of what I was thinking, kind of not super low poly, but not like really detail intense, kind of like a bit cartoony. And yeah. there are some sections of the game where there are interior which I consider as um like reference yeah, yeah references definitely do I think the colors are really I think I always remember the sign much just the colors that are so vivid yeah. right is that something you're going to go for like the, the color scheme or the yeah and so because it's quite a lot of the stereotypical like sci-fi interiors are normally white or white and orange or gray and black there's not it's normally only like specific parts that are colored unless it's like something to do with a franchise yeah <clears throat> like a bad uh badlands or something like that yeah 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 a oh, borderlands yeah yeah, yeah 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 so i think um that might be quite nice if you're doing a take on it where it's like not your stereotypical sort of like mm. muted color palette yeah It'd be quite a good uh thing for you to show like i'm interested i think like a good reference for that just off the top of my head is like futurama like if you yeah. if you ever do watch that, that yeah. that's um again because it's a cartoon it's got that more kind of a quirky take mm. on it but the colors are always quite, quite vivid yeah. in that right and um, this part of the website is where i'm at currently i'm still working through it and adding bits to it okay cool so what what else uh have we got to add here then what other um, things research wise just mostly um like the audience research i gotta do and then just any other general pieces of research that i i haven't gotten around to yeah. Uh, putting up there, or if I just think I want to look into doing this for the project or that. Yeah. I think if you use that to do list the, or that checklist that I gave yeah. out before, things around the codes and conventions. So if you tick mm. off, if you work your way through all of those, yeah. like lighting, like textures, mm. like um, game mechanics, you know, yeah. that will tick a load of boxes basically. Yeah. And that will tighten up your context. Um, as I said, as you said, I think your context like is looking the stronger aspect of what you've got here so far. Yeah. Um, but again, there needs to be quite a bit more in the way of that yeah. of that tightening up. So, so I've got stuff laid out for what I'm going to yeah. do. And this, for example, this will help like the low poly style thing. Yeah. You, again, you don't need to look at low poly sci-fi, but you just like that, that idea yeah. of how colors are achieved. Mm. You know, games that have really nice low poly art styles, like like um, the Zelda series, like you know, Link's Awakening and things like that, or mm. you know, some of the early ones. Wind Waker is really nice. So the differences between say those like styles and then cell shaders and things like how you go about achieving um the color scheme that you you're after and as i say think about things that are more obscure like future armor or things that yeah. aren't necessarily always games you know for your yeah. for your inspiration yeah yeah um uh and again when you come to make it this is like uh what's this like a little floor plan type thing uh i, I was just kind of uh yeah, just early sketches. Yeah. Trying to plan out what I was going to do first, really. Yeah, I think so, um, that's good. I think, again, what you could do fairly quickly now um, is to start, like, do a, a floor plan, do a, do a level yeah. map yeah, to get a sense of the scale of what you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. Think about that uh, research around modularity because, you know, you're, yeah. that really ties itself to this. And you can it, it's, it's a case of repeating, basically, what you did in the yeah. last project. Yeah. but with a sci-fi context, right? Yeah. Um, 
and so make sure you do that um so let, once you've got something that is like a white box type example then people can jump on it and play it and give you some feedback on yeah okay this is quite a big space or actually i feel like this would work you can try things out then like different types of you know contextually thinking about having some things like doors that opening and stuff like yeah. that yeah yeah so sci-fi is one of those ones where that like you know contextually doors opening is not just a door swinging open right it's not yeah. like something fancy so those are the sorts of things that you can look at for your coding conventions like do you want a door doors like star wars mm. that's double sliding or do you want something really fancy like kind yeah. of mass effect style you know do you want like this portal type thing so think about all those things that you can uh, show reference to and then use to inform your work okay mm. um but yeah it looks like it's 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 not as as strong a start to projects as you have had in others yeah. but it looks like you know there's there's a semblance mm. there's, the whole thing is that the project is formed on an idea that's definitely doable and yeah. you, you just yeah. Now I need to ramp it up in terms of what goes yeah. on there. Yeah. Yeah. I just had the other unit that came first. So yeah, yeah. So that's taken the priority. But now it's all guns blazing on yeah. this, right? So exactly. Um. So I think yeah, I think we're looking at as it stands referral level at the moment. But yeah. Hopefully we can when we check back in um after Easter, that this can be ramped up and we can yeah. expect yeah. to see your yeah. usual level of high volumes yeah. of production i think just think right when it's practical skills it goes on that page when i'm making stuff but for the moment don't let yourself make things just do the thing of doing like the floor plan use that you know yeah. that dnd thing for example or yeah, hand draw or whatever right. you fancy but you know do a floor plan do a white box get people play testing it that's all practical skills mm. but in the background like what color is that going to be how's that door going to open yeah, what's exactly. what's this going to show you know um as a genre of product again it's going to be kind of an exploration thing right yeah. was it what genre did you land on i forget um, did you say is it just i can't remember it, but the like the overall game itself like if it was a full game it was going to be like an actual uh action puzzle type okay. game i yeah. think it was yeah yeah um yeah so again if you look at that that kind of thing if you look at the star wars games um if you look at that kind of um I'm trying to think of some good examples of that, which would be relevant to this. It doesn't have to be the same genre, but I think, again, puzzle-wise, if you're thinking, right, well, look, I've got to get a key code card or get a, get this yeah. thing. Um, I think, oh, I definitely think another one for you to look at, which has, a, I really love the art style of this one, but System Shock, have you seen that? Uh, I've heard of it. I so so they, they did a remake. It's an old game, but the mm. new one kind of had um, a, re, a revamp couple a year or so ago and it's got like just a really nice kind of like art style and it's more the colors i thought were quite quite different like, as in they were quite bright and stuff for a sci-fi game um yeah. so like the like you know it's a cyberpunky slash sci-fi theme with lots of purples and greens yeah. and pinks and stuff so Again, like if you look at the types of mechanics that you have for that, it's a lot of hacking and mechanics like that. So you have to put yeah. in the right keypad sequences or find key cards to open doors and things. So contextually, that would work. Even if you just, in in one level, just interaction, it's all about you, the level and how it looks. But you could just be like a, a key card collection thing or something like yeah, that to so open I, doors. That yeah. could be nice, couldn't it? Um, something like that. Give the um, player a reason to walk around the place. Yeah, exactly. That one objective, that one goal is like, okay, go here, get this key card that opens this door or this opens this. Yeah. And so you get a few and there's a few like the whole thing with sci-fi is that you can imply there's a much bigger space than there is. I think if you make yeah. it feel like one corridor and two rooms, then you're missing a trick. You need to have dead ends and dead and doors that don't open and yeah. things that imply that it's a bigger space. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right. So um I think it's looking good, but we've got we've definitely got more to do. So yeah. that color scheme references, those kinds of things, yeah. get them going. And then, as I say, in the background, start blocking something out, maybe mm -hmm. even this week yeah. so that you've got something playable for I when you get back after. Fun to OK, have something playable by the end of the week, whatever cool. it is, just a white, just a white box. Block it. I just literally block it out and but go. don't do that swinging it. Do a little floor plan yeah. first. So you think about the space and Make sure that rooms that you make, again, having done some research into sci-fi rooms, make sure that the rooms are interesting. So you're not just going into a box, like you have to look around yeah. a corner to find something, whatever. Yeah. You know, when you look in a space, like, I don't know if it's going to show it on here, but 
things like this little pod thing or whatever like they, they can be used to the sky stuff and if you look in most of these games they have little kind of runways or little desks and things yeah. that, are, that are things that block the view so you're not you know uh, no very rarely in any one scenario so can you see everything and, yeah and yeah exactly so like trying to create that visual interest for the player to walk around in is your is your key goal here okay yep good stuff right let's um recording